first person to comment on this video, their favorite wrestler, gets the wrestler put up somewhere on this wall, and also I will shout them out in the next video. So uh, go ahead and do that right now. But what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Talk Malcolm Talking. Oh no. I really, really, really hope this doesn't happen, but uh, let's talk. There's been a new championship match added to the Stomp Me Grab pay-per-view card, which will be a triple threat match for the Cruiserweight Championship, which is always a pretty good match. It's always pretty solid. As a champion, Tony Nisa defends a title against Akira Tozawa and Drew Gulak. Now, Gulak has definitely been putting to work recently. I mean, he's been on 205 Live, killing in like usual, and he's been on NXT recently wrestling against Kushida. It was also announced that he's going to be wrestling for the Evolve shows coming in July, because he's going to be in Philly. And being from Philly, of course, he has to show up there and do his thing. So could Drew Gulak actually be the next Cruiserweight Champion? Mm -hmm. But the main thing we should be talking about is this match actually going to be on the main card or is it just going to be another one of the Cruiserweight kickoff matches because personally I'm really tired of seeing Cruiserweights getting put on the kickoff. Stomping ground so far doesn't look that good so to have a match that will be high pace and high action like the Cruiserweight Championship it gives the people in attendance and the people watching at home something to look forward to like oh well you know what at least on this pay-per-view they did something different with the Cruiserweight title so I like to see it on the main card what about you guys? Personally, I'm a big fan of rap music. I'm not into the whole country and rock. Talking about on the Jordan farm with my tractors. Or that weird death metal stuff where they just talk about depression. And like, yeah, I cut myself yesterday. Now, I was recently brought to attention that huge rap star, Cardi B. Actually used to be a wrestling fan growing up. Now, this isn't like a huge thing. It's like, oh, she used to like wrestling. But everyone's been like freaking out. Like, oh my God, Cardi B like wrestling? How does she know about wrestling? People actually liked wrestling back in the day? She's famous and she liked wrestling? Oh my God. Hashtag Stan. Queen! Where all this stems from is actually a video of Cardi B rapping backstage in one of her concerts. I'll just show it. And someone quoted that and saying, How come it looks like she's in the GM office of Raw vs. SmackDown? And Cardi saw that and quoted that by saying, I like cheating steel, because you know, it was Eddie Guerrero lied. And apparently, some fan like just saw that tweet recently, I'm assuming, and he asked Cardi B, like, How'd you know about Eddie? How'd you know about professional wrestling? You're famous. You're not supposed to know about that. This is my underground society. You don't know about wrestling. But Cardi actually responded to that tweet by talking about some of her favorite wrestlers, that being like Booker T, Edge, Eddie, Lita, Triple H, and Batista. Which, that's an interesting list. I appreciate the fact that she put Booker first. Respect. Given the time she probably watched wrestling, we're talking like 03, 04, maybe 05. You're a Triple H fan? They're in the reign of terror? You really liked them? Okay, hey. Do your thing, Cardi, whatever. Then she followed that tweet up by saying she also liked Undertaker and Kane. And someone asked her, what about Stone Cold Steve Austin? And she said basically that he retired before she started watching wrestling, which is fair. When you look at it now, especially if you're a fan of rap music, I mean, like, there's a lot of references to wrestlers on rap songs nowadays. I mean, like, John Cena's reference a lot. Will you rumble with the club, John Cena? Ice, freeze, bro. Frida, shoot, can't see me. What? John Cena. I'm banging on that Nina. I feel like John Cena, all my diamonds are Kofina. Ric Flair is definitely mentioned. I mean, Ric Flair drip. I mean, come on now. Like, there's a guy named Will Rapper. Even mentioned Jeff Hardy. I've been so fine, I shit down in China. But bullets gonna make that boy fly like Jeff Hardy. We'll make him fly like his finest designer. Because Jeff Hardy pretty much is like a wrestling version of a mumble rapper. Like, crazy color hair, did a bunch of drugs, drank a crap ton. That was the dumbest stuff in the world. I mean, he literally is Lil Pump if Jeff knew how to rap. This is the story I did not want to talk about, and I really hope, I really, really hope that this is not going to be a thing. So, WrestleVotes was talking on Twitter, like they usually do. They're always tweeting out some stuff that could be happening in wrestling, and usually, you know, about 70% of the time, they're typically correct. To give a recent example, they said that Mansoor was going to win the 50-man battle royal at Saudi Arabia, which he did, and he also claimed that R-Truth was going to pin General Hall before a video was ever even released. So, uh, oh man, if there's ever a time for WrestleVotes to be wrong, I pray to God it's this one, because apparently from one of their sources, um, Shane McMahon is being considered to be the next WWE champion. Champion. Why? Why? Really? Really? Please no. Just, just don't. He already gets like 50 minutes of airtime. Do I really need to see him with the championship? Why can't one of his lackeys get the title? Like McIntyre? Like Elias? Kofi loses his world title to a guy who's not even a actual wrestler. If this happens, we're gonna see a little recurring theme here. What's up with these McMahons always going after the Black World Champions, huh? Hmm? Vince beat Bobby for the ECW title. Shane could beat Kofi for the WWE title. I'm not even gonna think about what Stephen Mann was doing when Mark Henry was world champion. I know you were training. I know you were in that gym, but you didn't get it. You didn't get it. Linda, I saw you eyeing up Booker T. You better sit down in the office somewhere. You better stay in that politics, but don't come back to wrestling. Shane McMahon's not a bad wrestler. For someone who's not an actual trained wrestler or not a legitimate pro wrestler, he's actually not bad at all. He's actually pretty good. I'm gonna say the best non-wrestler wrestler that's ever been in WWE. I don't know how you would really rank those. I guess it would just go Shane, Vince, 
Trump, I guess Seth Green, and that's pretty much all of them. Personally, if Kobe has to lose his title to a non-wrestler, I'd rather be Lamar Ball. But if Shane Man's the guy that has to do it, I'm gonna be even more upset. It's like playing the same song over and over. We all used to like Happy by Pharrell Williams, right? Then they played it on the radio a hundred times over, and now I'm not even happy when that song comes on. I'm depressed. That's what Shane McMahon is making me right now. Depressed. I'm sick of him. Sick of him. And finally, with some non-WWE news, I'm just really happy to see this, honestly. It just makes me really happy to see this thing happen. So it was announced yesterday during the Road to Fire Fest series on the All League Wrestling YouTube channel that Sean Spears is now All Elite. I mean, this is cool. I am so happy to see this. Ty Dillinger was such an underrated wrestler in NXT. is such and such and such an underrated wrestler on the main roster. This guy has had more ups and downs than Simon Miller. It is sad to see this man's career go this way, then 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 this way. It's been really sad, and I just want to see the guy get a big W. But also on the Road to Fighter Fest series, Cody Rhodes said that he could be a good hand or a coach down the line. First, I feel like Sean Spears is going to take that one line from that YouTube video, spin it that way to make him think he's an underdog again, and Sean Spears could possibly be the first ever like mid-card champion for all league wrestling. Whatever, they're going to name that title. When it's all said and done for Sean Spears, I want him to have some really big accolade on his name, and to be the first ever AEW, whatever the mid-card title is going to be, I think it's going to be a... Uh, a cool moment for him so I just want to see that but yeah guys this is pretty much the video in the comments down below answer me this one question who's gonna be the mystery partner for the Lucha Bros as they take on the OG Elite at Fighter Fest on the 29th which by the way is streaming for free on Bleach Report Live so like we don't have to pay 50 bucks guys like whoa whew, I can just save money and watch good wrestling it's like I'm watching a Monday Night Raw but with good wrestling and good storylines and not Shane McMahon but make sure like comment share and always subscribe and we outie we going up like a thousand I'm a flesh just like a muscle man Malcolm uh. We going up like a thousand I'm a flesh just like a muscle man Malcolm uh. When it just like one two three If you like the channel this will squeeze If you like the channel this will squeeze If you like the channel this will squeeze